Anne Arundel County and Burlington are obviously leader libraries. They have strong staff and operate in very supportive communities. But even these libraries must continuously prove their value to taxpayers and manage declining resources like the other public agencies in their communities. Both Anne Arundel County and Burlington have faced budget reductions in recent years. Here's a creative approach that Burlington Public Library used to reduce costs. We ask our patrons to evaluate our services and um, a, a really recent example of that is we knew we had to make some cuts in our magazine collection. And so we put notes all over all of the magazines and said, you know, this magazine is being considered um, to be removed from the collection and if you're using it, you need to let us know. So they did. They told us the ones that were important to them. And we try to do that on a number of different ways. We do that with programs and activities and resources. In Anne Arundel County, the library was facing a new round of severe reductions. With support of the county executive, the library conducted a series of public forums to generate support. We were faced with the very tough choice of putting on the table reducing library hours. So what we decided to do was to hold a series of town hall meetings where we got the word out and invited people to come to three different meetings. We actually had, based on demand, we had a fourth meeting. We had a total of 850 people who showed up for these meetings. We went through and analyzed which days of the week are our most heavily used. Friday afternoons, Thursday evenings, and Sunday service. The county executive recommended only a cut that would not cut us to where we would have to close any hours. We had about 22 vacant positions and we said if you cut eight of those positions we won't have to cut hours. So he cut the eight positions but they didn't impact public service. In addition the county council and the county executive recommended a restoration of our materials budget. That budget had been cut from three million dollars down to two million dollars over the past few years and we're now living again with a three million dollar budget. The town hall meetings helped tremendously. The stories they had to tell helped quite a bit and just the, the raw numbers helped to, uh, to put it into a perspective. The library's allies can also come from other departments. Rather than being pitted against one another, the library director can build support from his or her peers based on the value that the library provides to the community. What happened in Burlington may be an exception, but remains immensely instructive. In the middle of the budget year last year, the mayor came to all of the department heads and said that we needed to cut another 5% from our budget. Our budget is bare bones, as I've already said. We're really staff heavy as a percentage of our budget because we have made so many other cuts. And when I looked at making those kinds of cuts, the only place left really is in the staffing. Our collection is so low, our other operational, uh, other operational budget portion is just phenomenally low in this state. It's really 3% of our budget. We've had a lot of conversations in department head meetings about the impact of budgets. And when we talk about the budget in the city, the city really takes a broad view. All the departments are in cooperation to try to provide services to the public. And when I said it was going to be closing on a Thursday evening, another department head stepped in and said that he would be able to cover the library's 5% in his budget. So that's just the kind of support that we have in this city. Anne Arundel County and Burlington Public Libraries both concluded that keeping their doors open to the public was their most important priority. And they made it clear that the impact of reductions would mean cutting hours and closing their doors to patrons in need of their services. What is most critical to maintain in your library system? Do you have data and stories to explain why? How do you inform your stakeholders? Could you successfully hold public forums? Do heads of other local governments understand what the library does and the value it provides? For us in this library, budgeting doesn't take place just once a year. We keep track of our patron stories. We keep our statistics on a monthly basis. We also keep a lot of anecdotal kinds of things that happen in the library. And we track those. We make those available to our city council and our mayor and our board of trustees on a monthly basis. It's important to, to provide the most important, most relevant data 
to, uh, to your funding authorities so that they have good information, that they have reliable information, that uh, they know they can count on you and trust you to be giving them straight information.